In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TeclaTeds API to calculate a mathematical expression. I've already got a project and a reference to the TEDS API NuGet package. Firstly, I'm going to start by asking the user to enter a value for the width and the height of a concrete beam section. So, using the command line read statement, I'm going to ask the user to enter the section width and I'll convert that to the width variable. Then I'm going to ask exactly the same for the height, reading in the value and passing it to a double. Now using the TEDS calculator, the first thing I need to do is initialize the calculator before I do any other processing. Next, using the functions interface, I will use the setVar method to assign a variable named b with the value the user has input for the width. I'll then do the same for the height, noting that I specify the units in each case. Then, using the functions interface again, this time the eval method, I can calculate any expression I want. In this case, I'm going to work out the area, simply calculating the breadth times the height. The re result of the expression will be returned as an I count value object, which could be a string or a number which will have a dimensions as appropriate to the value. Note that the result is not in units, rather it is specified in terms of the dimensions, mass, length, time and degrees. So to convert the value to the units I'm interested in, I can use the two double method, passing the unit millimeters squared and then I'm going to output that calculated result to the console to let the user know the area of the section they've entered. And that's it. So now I can build my solution. Check that I haven't got any errors. And then when I run my example, I can enter the dimensions of my section. And the TEDS calculator will then be executed and the calculation evaluated, returning the necessary result that will then be output to the console. So now we're using the TES calculator to actually do some calculations. 